While a casual gamer might not pay too much attention about their gaming mouse, for a lot of people, the accuracy, weight, and shape of the mouse is incredibly important. So then, Logitech's G Pro Wireless is only 80 grams, has 60 hours of battery life, and a top-notch sensor, which is great if you want to spend 150 US dollars on a mouse. 150 US dollars for a mouse. So today, we're gonna show you how you can get a mouse with nearly the same swagger. What? More than quadruple the battery life. The f At nearly just a third of the price. Do you love your pet, but have a hard time finding local daycare for them? Well, with Rover, you can find pet sitters, walkers, or even long-term boarding in your neighborhood. Get 10% off your first booking at the link below. This here is Logitech's G305 Lightspeed. I know, it doesn't look special. And to be honest, aside from the Lightspeed wireless and Hero 12,000 DPI sensor, it really isn't. There are clear places where corners have been cut and costs have been saved. Like there's no RGB, there's only three extra buttons, and it weighs nearly 100 grams, which in a field with players like the Final Mouse Ares 58 at 62 grams is actually pretty freaking chonky. But bear with me for a minute here. Because on the bright side, the overall shape is a straight copy from Logitech's much beloved G Pro Wired. Not the G Pro Wireless, because they're completely different, and it's cheap, relatively, coming in at just under $50. But it's not a new mouse. In fact, it's been on the market for almost a year. So why are we talking about it now? Well, that year has given the enthusiast mouse community plenty of time to dream up little hacks and major mods to make it into a mouse that can really swing with the heavies, or in this case, the lights, the, the light hitters. Before trying these mods, we need to establish a baseline between the stock G305 and the G Pro we think it could beat. Okay, so this is the first mouse. I want you to let me know about the feel and the weight of it. Okay. I usually use a G502, so I, I am- Chunky. Yeah, I'm a chunky boy. I mean, how can I not love the G Pro wireless? It's light and wireless, and it still has like the fantastic sensor. It's so balanced, it's great, it's like, like no part of it feels too heavy. It feels like it's just like so easy to move, so easy to carry, and it's like, it's pretty natural to move it. Like, I don't know, everything about the G Pro is just good. I think this is what a wireless mouse should be. Like that's the baseline, well, that's the, the standard. Is this mouse heavier? Well, this feels heavier. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think the G305 is a bit heavy for my liking. It is, seems shorter. I don't know if that's true, but it well, seems like less longer. Bit, yeah. The weight distribution feels fine. It feels like it's definitely back heavy. It almost feels like there's too much weight kind of back here. There's. It's not on the back end. It's more center. So it's where my fingers are. I think I like the shape of the other one a little bit better. Yeah, it feels heavier in the back as well, uh, in the same kind of way. If the G Pro Wireless is a ten as a wireless mouse. The G305, I would have to put uh, seven. Seven. Yeah, it's just like way too heavy. So weight reduction is a priority. There's actually a ton of support for the G305 on sites like Thingiverse with full honeycomb shells ready to download and 3D print, which can get this mouse down to obscene figures like 65 grams for this user set. Sadly, that's not something many of you will be able to do at home if you don't have a 3D printer. But don't worry, there's still a bunch of room for improvement that is more accessible. Namely, towards the back of the mouse where there is a 23 gram weight in the form of an alkaline AA battery. There are several different choices with some benefits to each approach, so we bought them all and weighed them for your viewing pleasure. And if the pleasure of maintaining the 250 hour rated battery life is important to you, then the natural choice is likely Energizer's Lithium AA's, which bring the overall weight down eight grams from 96 to 88. That's a sizable jump, but the lack of recharging is a bit of a bummer. So if that matters to you, we'd recommend some rechargeable lithium double A's, like this pair from 10 volts that we picked up for a admittedly rough $26 on Amazon. They have an advertised 1000 discharge cycles and they only have a two gram weight premium over their non rechargeable counterparts. But for me, the stupid long 250 hour battery life is honestly a bit unnecessary. I'm personally a fan of using a standard rechargeable nickel metal hydride AAA battery with an adapter. This should give us about 100 hours of rechargeable life at about 86 grams. 
not too shabby along with being better for the environment than a disposable and a hell of a lot more convenient. However, the lightest option is actually a AAA lithium cell at just seven and a half grams for the battery and an additional two grams for an adapter we bought on Amazon that we cut up to save weight. Although you can also just use a small tin foil ball and some tape to make it even lighter. This setup brings our total weight down to just 82 grams, only two grams heavier than the G Pro Wireless at nearly a third of the price. Let's see what our testers think now. Wow, it looks oh, wow. like the other one. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Interesting. So what do you think now about the weight distribution and the overall weight and feel? Yeah, it feels really light. That's awesome. This one does not feel as back heavy, bottom heavy. Yeah, all the weight that was in the back is just gone. It's not like it like shifted, it's just gone. There's less weight back here mm -hmm. and it makes it easier to move around when you're gripping it kind of like in the center. It doesn't have as much junk in the trunk, you might say. Do you see that kill? <laughs> this feels like a much more like balanced mouse. It feels great, it's like light. Definitely feels more balanced than the one I tried earlier. Uh, more ammo. Yeah, 305 with a lighter battery is basically just the best mouse in the world. The modified G305 is not a 10 yet. I think it's eight, eight and a half. This is a hundred, what, how much is it? 50 US dollars. Why is this worth 90 more dollars? Yeah, this is pretty amazing. And if I'm saving a hundred dollars US, I would probably pick this up. Okay, not bad, but overall, it seems like there is still something to be said for the engineering put into Logitech's flagship G Pro Wireless with its near perfect weight distribution, excellent feature set, modularity, and no fuss functionality. Hell, we actually love both mice. And if the G305 isn't quite the right shape for you, and or you have the money to shell out, the G Pro Wireless should definitely be in the running for your next mouse. But so should the G305. That's the end of the video. Go out and get this thing. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be good enough. Unless you just have mitts and <laughs> maybe get two. It's working for me though. The Mastrop Vast Curved Gaming Monitor is 35 inches of gaming goodness from corner to corner. It features an ultra-wide 3440 by 1440 resolution, it's got 2 millisecond response times, it's free sync enabled, and it's got a 100 hertz refresh rate. It's 2500 to 1 contrast ratio means that blacks look nice and deep, and it's basically a seamless visual experience whether you're gaming, working, watching a movie, or just browsing the web. Check it out at drop.com at the link in the video description. So thanks for watching guys. If this video sucked, which it didn't, you know what to do. But it was awesome. So like the video, get subscribed, and check out the links to where you can buy this stuff in the video description. Also in that, down there is a link to our merch store where you can get cool shirts like this one and a link to our community forum, which you should totally join. Is that a bad guy? I'm not gonna die, there's no way. Did I kill all the bad guys, David? Nope, 17. Uh, 17, are they below me? Yeah. Use them both at the same time? Sure, Riley, sure. <laughs> this isn't bad, actually. This could work. <laughs>